Okay, chitty chat time. Well, I did have my thing and I've got some broth left. Now, actually, once you eat this, you could save that au jus, the juice left, the broth left, and could use it to make a starter for some soup, okay? So just saying, when you're doing something like cabbage, the cabbage cooks down, and then some of that flavor goes in there. We've got soy sauce, we've got onion, we've got cabbage. All that flavoring is left in here, a little bit of butter, okay? So what's left there, you can save that broth, and uh, you have good vegetable broth there. Well, you do have a little ham in there too. Okay, I take it back. It's not full vegetable broth. But you can save that and use it as a starter for some soup if you wanted to do a small serving of soup. Okay, so <clears throat> again, very simple, easy breezy. Now, something that I've been looking at that I would love, 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 love to do, because you know how I love to come out here. I love my time in the road trek. While I do love my house, you know, it's a wonderful house. I would really, really, when I was moving out here, I really wanted to downsize. And my house is 1,300 something square feet. I don't need that much room, okay? So what I would really love to do, I'm gonna wait, you know, I think my house has increased maybe by 20,000 already within this year. So I've been looking online. <clears throat> now I can get possibly land out here by Deming for very cheap. But I would like to do, I'm looking into possibly what I would love to do is off-grid, pull in a solar system. You have to have a septic and a, a good solar system. Now, you could easily do solar out here because you've got sunlight, you know, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time out in this area. Of course, you'd have to do a water catchment um, you know, get some big water and have probably a water truck uh, come out and deliver water. And so I have to check on all those things to see. But they have a new thing out. It's just under 400 square foot. So it's basically the size of a um, studio apartment. So I think it's about the same size as the studio apartment I had when I lived in LA. I lived up in Los Feliz area. Now I loved it. It was one of my favorite places that I've ever lived because I was kind of backed up ne next to that great big park they have out there. Okay. So looking out my window, I had a small space you know, it was quite comfortable, about the same size, about 400 square feet, and um, very livable, okay? Now I'm going to put up a URL to this company that is making these small places. It's like a small studio apartment size. They make them up in Las Vegas. They fold up they, this house. <laughs> It folds up, they deliver it um, on, on, on a flatbed, they bring it down. You have to have a, uh, you, a, like a concrete, you'd have to have a concrete platform poured. But it does have the hookups already for it, for your, uh, for your water and your sewer and your electric whatever, and you can turn it into solar, okay? You can make it solar off-grid. You can make it where the hookups are ready for off-grid as well, okay? And it's uh, that little studio apartment size one is 49500 now, okay? So to put in your septic would be, I think they said it's somewhere around 3000 or something to do a septic. Um, I'm not sure it's solar. I have to check into that and what it costs to do the uh, concrete thing. Um, but all those things I'd like to look into because 
you know, I have looked and they do have land out here by Deming for very cheap, some of it. You can get it for like 5000 10000 you know, depending on how much you want, how much land you need. Um, so I'm trying to sush out exactly what it would be for the whole thing. Um, now, when I'm out traveling in my RV, I don't miss any of the things that are in my house, okay? So I would have to really downsize and sell, you know, get rid of all my instruments except for my flutes. Those I'm going to keep, maybe a couple of the hand drums. I have room in here for those for sure. Uh, and the rest of it, um, I would not have any problem in getting rid of it, okay? Um, now, I do love all my artwork and stuff I have at the home, but there's no room for it, you know, <laughs> in these little places. Now, I, I do have some room there. I could put up some. I would bring maybe a few of my art pieces, so the larger acrylics probably, and put in there. But, it, you know, this is a starting point for this. But it's something I've really wanted to do for quite some time. You know, is sell my house and be able to pay for it outright. Okay, so I have no more bills. So there's no mortgage, nothing left on that uh, of a monthly type of a layout. And as long as I have a view, I want a view of the mountains or like I love this out here with the cactus. Okay. I did see some land down by Tucson that's out like, like when you look out here and you see the cactus. That's what they have out there. They have this desert like this with the cactus and everything. Okay. Um, out here in Deming, you can get uh, some of the, again, the mountain views and things. So, again, I'm just in the start of this. Sometimes I think, you know, I like the mountain. I love that. But then the winter, you get such cold. You get a lot of snow and you get kind of, uh, you know, might not be the best thing. Okay. So, um, as far as living there full-time off-grid. So I think I would, you know, save my time to go up in the mountains, you know, during the summer or something like that, go up to the travel up to the mountains and spend some time there, shorter excursions up to the mountains. Um, and also, you know, living in the forest, while I love forest land, Another place that I really, really loved was Astoria in Oregon. Now, I love the area of Astoria. It's right by the, uh, right by the bay. It has bays over there. And uh, it's such a great little town. Everything you need is there. It's very small town feel. And you have a lot of the trees trees and stuff like that, forest lands. Now, where I was staying up there, they had wild peacocks that would come through screaming in the morning. Now, if you've never heard a wild peacock, they are, they are loud little boogers screaming out there. Um, but that's the other thing. I love the desert, but I also love up by Astoria. Okay. Um, yeah, another place that I really, really enjoyed. Um, now, at one point in my life, I wanted to move up there, but I was having students that would want to come and visit, and there would be no way they could have come to visit me if I was in Astoria. There are no close um, airports or anything. It would have been a nightmare, a logistical nightmare, so um, I didn't move there. But now that I don't have students coming to visit me, you know, I work with everybody online, and they're in all different parts of the world. Um, I actually have the freedom that if I wanted to, I could move up there, okay? But I could also take my RV. I could take some road trek time and go up there for a time, 
Okay. So anyway, all of this stuff is just in the beginning stages of looking at it. Um, you know, you see some of these tiny houses, and there's that one that I put up, that URL. I love it. But you look at the ones that are already manufactured, and they're just, you know, nothing. Nothing to write home about. Nothing I'd want to live in. And then the ones that you have made that are really cute like that, I'm sure they cost you an arm and a leg. So... This one that they have for forty nine five, um, yeah, it's a small space, but I mean, next to this, it's nineteen. Now my van is nineteen foot, so it would be nineteen by nineteen. So this is nineteen by uh, what is this across? I think it's eight, six or eight feet across. So, um, like I said, and I'm in here quite fine, so I actually do have extra room there, bigger than what I have here, okay? Um, that would work quite well. I think it's about, um, yeah, it's, it's quite a bit bigger, double, almost triple the width of this um so yeah i think it would be quite fine for me i might t actually do the trip up there they're in las vegas i think it is where they make them so i might go up and actually do the tour of one of them and see um and i need to check here and see but I think in this area out here by Deming and by uh, Columbus, where I'm at now, I think that you can do off-grid without a problem. You know, that's the difficulty with tiny houses. Now, I just saw one guy online, and he got a place in Missouri, and um, I don't, I think he bought the land, and he didn't check. And you can't have a tiny house, and you can't be off-grid there. So this guy got himself in a whole lot of trouble. Um, he's quitting. He's selling everything off. Uh, he got big fines. And, uh, you, you know, those are things you have to check. Just because you're buying some land doesn't mean you, you can do whatever you want on it. They have restrictions in a lot of places. Like I saw some land that I loved. But I checked into it further, and it said you have to have minimum square footage of 800 square feet. Okay? So some places you buy into, and they have a minimum square footage. Some of them have restrictions for mobile homes. Sometimes, like I was just watching another one on there, and this woman wanted to do a tiny house community, and she couldn't do it in Colorado. Okay? restricted. She went right across the border in New Mexico and was able to put it together. Okay. So again, you have to look at where you want to be and the restrictions. And then if you're buying land, you have to make sure there are no back taxes owed on it. You know, that it's free and clear, etc. All those <laughs> All of those things, you know, you have to check into as well. Does it have a lien on the property? Are there back taxes owed? What are the taxes? You know, so those are things you have to check out uh, as well. So anyway, those are some things I would love to do. Um, but uh, who knows if I'll be able to accomplish that. Uh, but uh, again, um, that's really been my uh, focal point that I wanted to do when I moved out here. I wanted to get a tiny, but I wasn't able to find anything. Okay. And I got such a good deal on my house where I'm at. And it is a lovely house. Don't get me wrong. It's a lovely house. But it's a lot for me to take care of. Okay. 
I don't need three bedrooms. You know, I have my tarot room. <laughs> I have to get rid of all my, all of my, uh, so much of my tarot stuff I'd have to get rid of. Um, hundreds and hundreds of decks and, and I would probably keep my crystals for the most part. I could set those around, you know, all over in this little studio place. I could make a place for my crystals. So those would be going with me. But uh, anyway, we'll look and see. And I'll put the URL to this uh, fold-up house. It's pretty amazing for what it is, you know. Um, yeah. I could, I could definitely live in that. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you online.